Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm TechFanek9 from AndroidRoots.com, and today we're taking a look at Pack ROM for Nexus 4. Now, P stands for Paranoid Android, A stands for AOKP, and C, yeah, you named it, Cygenema 10.1. So, you're gonna get all three major US ROMs. Uh, everyone's been craving all three ROMs, smash into one, and get all the features that you want, all the features that you need, all into one ROM, so you can really, really like it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this ROM. All right, so right away, this ROM comes with Pi Control from Paranoid Android. So you can see right here, we have the app right here, Pi Control right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that out. So let's go into full screen Pi. And now, I don't know why it goes directly into here for whatever reason it does automatically. But let's go back out. Let's go back, uh, go home. And as you can see now, both your status bar and your navigation bars are gone. Uh, but to access... Um, uh, the Pi control, you can just go ahead and access it through putting your thumb here and accessing it. Um, and then if you want to go to toggles or your uh, 4.2 toggles, just go right here and you get 4.2 toggles. And then to go to your uh, Gmail or um, all your notifications and all that, just go ahead and go to the top and boom, you got it. Now, currently I don't have any, but it would show all your Gmail, text messages, etc. right there if you had any. So that's really cool. I like that Pi Control feature. It makes it much more sleek. And if you look at the device right now, it looks amazing. No navigation bars, no status bar. It looks so big. Uh, it just looks amazing, especially with this orange wallpaper. I love orange and blue. <laughs> so it looks great. Let's get out of that just for now. Uh, I don't know why it goes into there for whatever reason, but hey. And then also I added two uh, page scrolling uh, for the dock. You can add more if you want. I think just about seven or eight I think you can add for the dock. So it's really nice. I like it. Uh, makes it more efficient uh, if you want to add more apps for whatever reason. Let's go to settings all the way down. And as you can see right away, uh, you have settings, which is hybrid mode from Paranoid Android. Uh, so you can have the side right here and you can automatically see what's on the screen um, just like a tablet. If you ever had a little Android tablet, that's the same look. So it's awesome. As you can see, we got Pack ROM right there version, AOKP, Sajinamat, and Paranoid Android. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at some of the features of each one. Uh, we're not going to go through all of them uh, one by one and uh, in depth just because there's a lot of features to go and I don't want to make this video super long. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, uh, and uh, go like kind of full blast, you know, uh, shoot. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Just, you know, look, look at the highlights. There we go. Uh, let's go into home screen. And this uh, feature is from Sygenomod, if you guys are wondering. So you have grid size, which is pretty basic home screen, default screen. Um, search bar, which I removed. So if you enable that, um, it'll actually uh, reappear right here. I don't like search bar. I think it's a waste of space, especially with Google now. You can go and access it right away very, very easily. So, oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right, looks like I got exit. Let's go back in settings and into launcher and um, back into uh, home screen. And there, so let's go and remove search bar because I don't like it. Uh, you can hide icon labels if you want to, uh, if you just want a nice clean look. Um, I don't have any apps currently on my home screen, so you won't really see that effect. Uh, scroll paper, uh, scroll wallpaper, I love that. Very, very nice feature in my. Uh, Opinion. Uh, you have. You also have show page indicator. So let's go and enable that. And now let's show which page you're on. It should. There you go. So that little page right there. So it should go away when you do enable it. Let's go back in settings and let's go and back out. So those are pretty much uh, the Sajimad features that um you get with this current pack RAM. Let's go into lock screen and I actually enable home screen widgets. So what that means is that you can add any type of widget on your lock screen. Um, it doesn't matter what type it is. So let's actually, oh, there we go, add it. And now usually with Android, I'm not able to put on my lock screen just because of Android's requirements that has to be optimized for lock screen. So this removes that authority and you can add AirDroid or any widget you want on your lock screen. So let's go ahead and add AirDroid. And there you go, you got AirDroid right there. And I still have my clock. So if I, remove, if I want to remove my clock, I don't like it. There we go. And now this is my default lock screen. Let's go there. And there you go, that's my default lock screen. I got my camera, oh. Let's try that one more time. I got my camera right here, and then I can add more widgets right there if I want to as well. Let's go here and take a look at some other things. You got uh, shortcuts, which I added. So I added gallery and file manager, as you can see right here. So I got, um, they're really small, but gallery and file manager. You can add more icons if you want, um, whatever order you really want. I think, you can, can you change the order? Uh, you probably have to add it in the correct order. Uh, you can't change it after you added it, the order of them. Let's go back into lock screen, uh, and you have all that, and you got slider shortcuts too. So let's go and add uh, one or two of them. Uh, let's go back to applications, and let's go to camera. Okay, and uh, let's add one more. Just the heck of it. 
Um, let's go into applications and uh, let's do Gmail. I love Gmail. I'm always answering your questions <laughs> just about every day. Save it. Oh, and there we go. So it should be there. And there you go. You got camera and Gmail right there. And if you're on Google now, you can still get it like that. So that's really cool. That's from AOKP, if you guys are wondering. I'm pretty sure that's from AOKP. It could be from Sajina Mod. Not sure about that one. Um, I know uh, ROM Control is from AOKP, so that's probably from Sajina Mod. Uh, you also have themes, which is pretty basic. You can go and get more from the Play Store. Um, I never use themes from this one. All right, let's go into Systems, and you got Power Menu, Clock Widget, and Toolbar. So in this case, let's look at Power Menu. And this is what I did. So in the expanded desktop, I did status bars hidden. So in this power menu, which I enabled right here, um, it disables the status bar. So if you want a clean look, uh, make sure to enable that. So let's go into ramp control now. And you got a lot of options here. And I've done a lot more full in depth compared to this video on AOKP. Go ahead and just search AOKP on my channel and you can look at more uh, featured. It's probably for Galaxy Nexus or Galaxy S3. I can't remember, but it's there are just almost everything is about the same features. Uh, so let's go and look at general UI and uh, disable boot animation if you want faster boot ups. Uh, you can do custom carrier label, which is cool. No reboot required. So let's do just do TF9. And now it should, yep, there you go, TF9. You probably can't see that. It's really small, but it does show TF9 right there, which is nice, fast, and easy. Uh, Vibrant Expand, you can do that. Hardware to kill. Oh, this is my favorite feature. Enable to kill all button and recent RAM. So if you go into recents, um, you got kill all right there and your RAM. You also have navigation bars. Uh, you can change it, add more if you want. Um, battery, I actually changed that. So I changed the battery icon style to uh, circle mod. Uh, you can do don't show, so no battery at all. So it's always a mystery. <laughs> uh, you can do text, so I'll just give you the percentage basically. And there you go, it's on 53% icon only. So that's your basic look. And I'm going to keep it with Circle Mod. I like Circle Mod. So that's my favorite. Um, I actually tried changing the color of the battery. It hasn't worked. So it could just be a, a glitch or a problem with it just because of three ROMs are uh, smashed into one ROM. And now probably one of my favorite is Hybrid Properties. So you got Paranoid Android Colors, Stock UI, Phablet UI, and three uh, sections or options of Tablet UI. Let's try Tablet UI now. It's probably going to... You probably get you probably guys are gonna like this for a little bit just because how unique it is. So everything's on the bottom, uh, nothing on the top. It's all clean on the top. And now when you go and tap on that, you get all your notifications via Gmail or text messages, etc. And then if you want to go to your toggles, go and tap on that, and you have all your toggles um, in a small little format right there, which is very very easy to use and very convenient. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna go back to Stack UI, and, and that's a basic look of Paranoid Android. AOKP and Sidejar Mod, also known as Pack ROM for your Nexus 4 device. Hopefully you did enjoy this ROM review. It's a quick review. It'll give you the highlights of the major features for each section of each different ROM uh, mixed together with Pack ROM. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button in the bottom left hand corner and please do consider subscribing to the bottom left hand corner as we do post a lot of videos on ROM reviews, app reviews, you know, a lot of things, tip tricks, and more for Android. So you can enjoy this channel if you do um, like Android in general for whatever reason definitely do subscribe. You're going to love this channel. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> if you like anything Android related. Also don't for forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links down below for the ROM and all the links for social networks are down below too. And that's also an excellent way to get in contact with me for whatever reason. Maybe this ROM isn't working. Maybe you're getting a problem with something that I mentioned or something else. Uh, it's a great way to get in contact with me. Links down below and link to the ROM down below as well. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.